Hello, my name is Chelsea Gardner, and I'm a costume designer based out in Dallas. I like to film my progress of my projects, and for my first video series project, I will be making a purple ball gown dress fit for a queen with gold embellishments all throughout the dress. So to start off the project, the first thing that needs to be made is the hoop skirt. I used Truly Victorian's elliptical hoop skirt pattern. There are many parts to this pattern and it has nearly 30 yards of hoop boning. I went ahead and ordered swatches for my dress. I decided to use white poly organza for the main part of the petticoats and a gold poly organza for the ruffles that will be at the bottom of the petticoats. I decided that silk chiffon was the best fabric for this project. I decided to go with the bright purple chiffon as I'm afraid the other purples would look too brown or just not right. The lining is a lavender duchess satin. So moving on to the hoop skirt. I followed all of the directions with the exception of the tie strings. Everything has to be marked and sewn correctly because the bony needs to fit in the channels properly. The hoop skirt was not as hard or time consuming as I thought it would be and was actually a lot of fun to make. I had to be careful to pin all the ribbons of the hoop skirt properly. This step was a little tedious. Cutting and marking the boning was the most difficult part of this, but once it was all said and done, the last thing that to do was to insert the boning into the hoop skirt bag and to hand sew the rest of the boning channels to all the ribbons throughout the hoop skirt. And with that, I completed the hoop skirt. I really like the shape of the hoop skirt, as I feel it will give the dress the elegant look that I am striving for. I went ahead and did a full turnaround of it because I think it's really cool. I'm extremely happy with the results and even though it's a little heavy, it's a lot of fun to wear. I went ahead and drafted the patterns for the petticoats. I will explain this in more detail in my next video. But now it's time to move on to the 180 yards or more of organza for the petticoats. Thank you for watching and see you all in the next video.